I love cooking on my barbecue. I've got a nice little wok and I wanted to show you how we did the batter recipe this morning. And I had some eggplants. I sliced them. I salted them, made them sweat, patted them dry, and they're in my batter now. That. I placed them in the batter, and now I'm going to fry them with the batter we made this morning. They're going to be delicious. In the batter, exactly the same one that we did this morning, I put some fresh mint from my garden and some fresh garlic from my garden. Crushed it and added it to the batter, this batter. Have a look at this. Put it over there. Fry very gently until they're golden brown and you'll see how beautiful this batter is. Look at that golden. <laughs> I'll bring that camera just a little bit more closer so you can see that beautiful batter coming up the beautiful pastilla batter coming up a little bit closer so you can see that go there look at that golden batter lightly when you do the pastilla when you make the pastilla in any vegetable it has to be light there's nothing worse than having a heady heavy batter and the batter becomes that's all you eat you actually want the ingredient to be king and the batter to be prince that's foolproof recipe it will create a deliciousness and a texture that you will absolutely enjoy making that pastille with all vegetables you know it's a lot a lovely coating to them have a look at them how they're going just look at them we'll leave that for a minute i'm going to go and quickly get a fork golden the bicarb soda and the lemon and you just got to use your fork put your fork through and you know that they're ready and you just and we'll do the next lot oh so yum these aren't meant to be eaten um hot they're meant to be eaten warm otherwise they'll you burn look at that look at that batter
I know I've made a really good. I can smell the lemon. I can smell that mint that I put into the batter and the garlic. It's all about changing the dynamics. When you cook, that's what it's all about. Changing, using the foundation as a recipe, the recipe as a foundation, and then tweaking it to the delicacies and the textures that you like in your cooking. I've got garlic that I've been growing in my garden that it's just beautiful. And the smell, there's nothing like fresh garlic. There's a difference when you get store-bought or when you get it from a farmer or you grow it yourself. And the mint from my garden and the lemon, that was from my garden that we grade, that I grated and, and made the lemon zest. Have a look at these beautiful eggplants coated in the pastilli recipe. how quickly they were done they didn't take long and they're ready yep put my fork through that might that one might take another couple of minutes that one's ready it's a bit thinner drain that little bit of excess oil Recipes are meant to make life easy. You know, they're, they're, they're a benchmark, they're a foundation, and then you can create whatever you want in it. And using this pastilli recipe, I hope that you enjoy it. I would love for you to let me know what you think about it and how yours turns out. I would love you to show me even photos of what you've done. Love to see that. Please subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram and let me know how your pastilli recipe went see you on the next one ciao